continue. So last time we did Feros, if I remember correctly. We did Feros, um... It went... Very well, it was chaotic, but we did it. And now we're gonna focus more on side quests and going back to the Citadel, so... Like I said, this stream is gonna be a lot of chatting and having fun. Gonna be a lot of chatting. And peep, and a lot of peep. <laughs> you know. So first of all, we're going to talk through a ton of people, Talk uh, starting with... Hello, Mr. Joker. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. Jesus, okay. I have to go. Alright, see ya. I'll remember next time, Joker. I, I, I'll t <laughs> I, will, I will remember next time, okay? Hi, Presley. You suck. I don't like you. Uh, let's see who's next. Wait, there's something I need to scan. This. There we go. Now, I'm feeling better. Hello. There's no manual. Let's scan it. I get in. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Uh, uh I'm listening. Let's hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. I, are you concerned for me? This a personal observation, Caden? I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a... Uh, if I have misread your interests. What do you mean, my interest? Uh, you mean Liawa? Yeah, I love her. What the fuck? Someone? You're referring to our young Prothean expert. <laughs> I think she's older than both of us put together, but, uh, yeah. There's a lower deck rumor that she's, um, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. Okay, then I'm gonna she's throw- I'm, I'm going to throw you off the ship. Funny. You're lucky for the for the big choice. Uh, I, I'm picking saving you instead of Ashley. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, I, I think I've heard enough. I don't think you should be prying into my affairs. Yeah, it's my it's my affairs. There's my answer then. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Commander. I got some mixed signals. With your permission. I should return to my duties. Yes, return to your duties. Thank you. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, but let me talk about your personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? You have some quests to give I've me. Wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll yeah, good. Personal <laughs> good. <laughs> What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't. Ah, uh, no, no, we did, we did, we did. We did. Okay, good, good, good. We'll talk another time. Damn it! Trying to, I would just trying to say, hey, I just show you falling in love with um, uh, with um, you know, Yawa. And, and, and so what? Dang it! Hello. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, I was worried. You look much better. Okay, then stop listening for the fucking door. <laughs> Dr. Chalkwas assures me I'm going to be fine. 
I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yeah, she's the best. You're in good yeah. hands. Dr. Chalk was. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, tell me about Maybe you. we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Yeah, we're short-lived. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Yeah, we do. We, we, we are creatures of actions. You and I, we're going to watch Wembo one day. <laughs> You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over... Uh, and yeah, that's want. a good point. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Um, look, I'm trying, okay? I'm, I'm kind of the black are. sheep. There is a reason I'm the black sheep, the black sheep in the family. <laughs> they saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. No, I the reason why I was history. a specter is because Udina was... Like, give us a specter, please. you survive shows a remarkable strength. No, that's still... Talk about the coos, please. It's PTSD triggered. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Oh, I want to believe that. Are you that. sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? Wait, hold on. Let me check the door. I admit, your <laughs> the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not serious. Caden special? No. Not serious. The lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. It's My not mistaken. even friends. I like... am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about Hi, Kaden, we just friends. What? <laughs> was I wrong about that too? <laughs> yes, I am attracted to you. No, you were right. There is something between us. I'm gay. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. It doesn't ha- uh, wait. Don't analyze this. Quit thinking like a scientist. Logic doesn't work when it comes to relationships. Just let yourself get swept up Good. in the storm. Good. Good. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. And I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. <laughs> Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. No, no, I I got my Goodbye, answer. Shepherd. Thank you. Okay, then is currently in the West from crying. I know where you are. Activate the door. 
the elevator was to have more people to talk with. A loading screen. And thank you. Uh, hey, Vox. What do you want, Shepard? <laughs> Dude. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> like? Such as? Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Okay, but why leave? Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Really? What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, Oh my god, each okay. Other. Yeah, so Jared is a... It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. Good, me to too. Stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. And what about Jared? I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. <laughs> no, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected Yeah, yeah, much. yeah, it sounds like a trap. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws... Ah. Uh... Jared was your father? He was. Until that day, we talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join, oh, uh, okay, he that's the fucked signal. up. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. That's fucked up. So long, Rex. Shepard. Uh, do, 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 do. We have something new, at least for others. No, uh, I know Garrus, I know you have stuff for you. That's a shame I'm I'm not using you. But you know. You look nice. Ashley. Commander. Talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. Let's pretend this never happened. Actually, fun fact, when you were playing as a male shepherd, it was more like, oh, shepherd looks pretty cute. <laughs> that was the fun fact. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Yeah, he's free now. <laughs> I ditch him. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them.
You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest, she's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? <laughs> Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Vid mails? Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen Hawaii away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. <laughs> yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Oh. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Self-defense. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. <laughs> Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. How about you? So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. Nice. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like a day's cruise. It's not like I was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. <laughs> I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. <laughs> I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. <laughs> she helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. Aww. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot True. rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I'm bold. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. It's a good piece. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Well, it's not. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says so in the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. 
Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. <laughs> Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Dismiss. Yes. Thank you. Ma'am. Good story. I hate you because you hate aliens, but good story. <laughs> Uh, hello, Garrus. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Like what? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Hmm? What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. Well, what did you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Huh? You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. Ah, it yes. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. So yes, Krogan got four, yeah. four pair of balls. <laughs> got four balls. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, what about the what doctor? What do you know about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. It's a second. He mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some Oop. of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was Fuck. growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. The fuck? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. The fuck? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. Just let him go? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about, uh, worried about yes. the casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't miss uh, I kind of agree with them, Bo. It's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. 
All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah. Point. Maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Ah, oh, that's right. This is the one of the side quests when Garrus is uh, will be with you. <laughs> Meaning we won't. Be... I'm gonna get Liawa with me. I think for this quest, I tell you. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. But you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again, so to eh. speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Theron's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. Why? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people Ooh, who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his that's only child. That's a lot of, that's a lot of pressure. On you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Veil. Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Bye bye. Uh, Gans. There we go. And I think we're good to go. Yep. Did everything. Okay. Dialogue. We're done. So now we are focusing on the set quest. I know we have a ton. After the side quest, we're gonna go to the Citadel. I think we will have time for everything today. After that, the next time we're gonna do some Mass Effect, we're gonna go to Novaria. Hi, Presley, you suck. <laughs> that was free. Okay, so that's the new side quest. Find out Dr. Salian. Alright, let's do that. Uh, Gauss told you about his encounter with Dr. Salion, the, the geneticist. Geneticist? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. He regrets letting him escape the first time and hopes that you will be able to track him down and bring him to justice. 
We are gonna try for sure. Uh, why do I need to go? Uh, the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Okay. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Uh, from who? Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comrade. Uh, okay. What do we want? I'm not. I'm not the fucking Dole Dash. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now what? Now? Barrels. Uh, I'm looking at the Keepler Verge. The place. Herschel system. Let's go. Goodbye, fellows. That was a pleasure. Dr. Hart, okay. Uh, let's see, let's scan some planets very quick. I tell nothing. Tungle and nothing. Okay. And clock on nothing. Okay, that's gonna be very quick. Alright, the bold. There we go. I'm going with Garrus. Just for some dialogue and. Yeah, let's go with Yava. If she gets some biotic power. Okay, Garrus, I'm gonna do another level up. I think he needs some new equipment for sure. There we go. There we go, just take all of that. I'm not gonna use them anyway. Okay. Now, let's go. All right, who has the balls? What tech subject? Oh no! Oh no! 
Looks like Sailor. Crap. Uh, are they just behind me? Yes, they are. Okay, fun. Uh, oh, they're all that behind me. They're actually all over. Let's go. They're all here. There we go. Dr. Hart, Very what have secure. you done to them? I don't know what have you done, buddy. <laughs> One, nothing here, okay. Thank oh. you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart, Dr. Hart. Please get me out of here. Sutton. I'm sure it's him. Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Back down, guys. We'll take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. Very lucky, Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Finally, some action. Oh. <laughs> so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? <laughs> he was moving. I don't know what, what he was trying to do. He was going back. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus, <laughs> but you can control how you Oh, respond. that was funny. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Ah, uh, Salion's <laughs> medical, medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale, blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work... As ending here, attempt to head back to Normandy. Oh, someone moved the. <laughs> Sorry about the headshot, dude. <laughs> and from behind. That was like kind of a uh, gross and disgusting. Um, uh, let me use Omni Gel. Oh, I'm almost out of Omni Gel. I'm gonna have to be careful now. Heavy armor. I don't care about that. Okay. Do I have a new. No, I don't have a new sniper, okay. Uh, Jono. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we we'll officially done. Okay. Yeah. New grenade. Be nice indeed. Okay, well done here, let's get out of here. Uh, where's the exit? <laughs> oh, ah, oh, there we go. This way. Left. Go straight. Quest X. And done. Alright, that was quick. Now, coming up coming up next we have our next side quest. 
Investigate samples. While on Ferals, you found that the personal log of an ex exogeny employee. The doctor's note seems to express some concern about samples they provide to a group he referred to only as Cerberus. Oh, well, Cerberus! I never heard of him. I hope we never heard of him anymore. They looks like bad people. We're not gonna work for them, right? Um... Mauncy Cluster Matano System. Okay. Let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, Armstrong, I think I'm better. Mauncy. And Matano System. Yes. Just guy this and let's go. Um any time now. Thank you. Uh back. A regular screw. Best bodies. Okay, look at coffee. Very sleepy. She's learning. She's learning speed. Uh, Cabby hair ride. Speed. She wants to learn. Uh, Cabby hair ride. I hope, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you're doing well. You're trying. It's okay. Look at me. My all this here. Don't. Like, I'm doing good. You do a good job. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's the place we need to go. Alright, let's go. I said. Ah, okay. Gotta find another way, fine. Why this land reminds me death trending? Why somehow I got some death death trending flashbacks? Well, I know that the fun fact I'd never be I I never be able to finish death death trending, and I think I will never be able to do. The reason why is because I was watching the game some walls, and it looks like the game spoiled me in the face, and I'm like, game some walls just spoiled me death trending. I mean, it's okay. I still really enjoyed like the, the the gameplay itself. It's a little bit slow. It's the beginning is slow as f. Like it. This is like the same thing with um, Red Dead Redemption 2, when it it took a lot of time for the game to sh to really start. Like the beginning is super slow, but after that, like you are on a roller coaster. I think I want to play. I, mean, I think I want to play it again. But the thing is, M wants to play um, Red Dead One. So I 
I'm like, I'm gonna let uh, the full discovery of the game. No. All right. Meanwhile, are we doing this? Are we doing it? Yes. Thank God we did it. Hello. <laughs> Goddess, have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. All right, we good. Okay. Thank you very much. No. Go back to the Normandy. Let's go inside. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Done. There we go. Oops. That fight. Oh yeah, oh, the husk. Hi. What's up? Who the f who shot the fucking bell? Okay, nice. What about you? There's one more upstairs. Hello. Our shields. You don't destroy my shields, dumbass. Oh dear god. Okay. Colony of the dead. Fight your way through the hostile transform colonist. Or searching for survivors and Well, I don't think we're gonna find something here. I think we're gonna have to clear all the buildings. I can't. Not so. Let's get moving. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, let's head back to the Mako and let's continue west. Looks empty here. Let's, let's get inside. Oh, it doesn't look so empty inside the house. Hello. Oh crap. Back. Go. 
go. I got you. I got you. Good. Hello. Nice. Then. Oh. You bitch. Yeah, I think I have to clear like everything. And then the last building will be where we can find some clues and survivors. Or at least some clues. I don't think we're gonna find some survivors here. Um However, we can still find some good equipment. Just saying. Very nice. Okay, so I will get the new lancer. Wax, you will have the big gun. I'll give you the wrapped six. And the firestorm six. No, you know what? I'll give you better. I'll give you the katana six. Merry Christmas. Um Yes. Uh let's see. No, that's not that's not better at all. I'll take that. Yawa, you're gonna get the new stiletto. Okay. Now we've done with this place. Let's go down. Exit the building. Sorry, I want to check something very quick. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Did two other three? Let's go check on the last one. I think this is where we are gonna find some of our answers. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Checking the time as well. Hello. There's some people here. Hello. Problem solved. Okay. So now, cover me. Let's get inside. Door control. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, man. Four people here. Come from behind. Oh, All targets oh God. Okay. So are we done? Looks like we're done. Ah, uh, yeah. That's an exclamation point. Empty. Sup. Amp. So nice. I can. Okay. If it says new grenade, I'll take that. Got. Yeah, I like that. I like fire. Terminal. The Colonial Pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Severus group has a lot of to answer. Yeah. So, am I done? Yeah, yeah, it's done. Because Severus. Pass through the colony. Hey. You're officially done here. So let's get go. Tut, 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 tut. Exit the building. So the squid. Echo. Oh. Nobody. And done. Alright. What's left on my timer right now? Oh, we do have time. We're oh, fine. We can do at least one or two more. And we have a shit ton to do. Uh, investigate facility. You find a confidential transmission while in Pharaohs. It's unclear exactly what's going on, but it appears Exogeny sent some kind of sample. Your research facility on another quest. Seaclus, the Mount Sea Cluster and the Vostok system. Uh, we actually in the right cluster if I am correct. Oops. That's my bad. Yeah, we do. There we go. Level to another system. Titan. A triage. Things, okay. Oh, we got nothing. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. 
No message, just a locator signal. Okay, it's good to know we find another quest. Another crux. And come off. Got nothing. Okay. Um uh, land. Back. Check on this. I want to get back to get coffee, but she's not here yet. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, I love this guy. Here we are. That's the science facility, that's the place. Hello! Get your coffee. Ah, okay. Also got some cereals. Well, it is true, you didn't... Like, you were kind of hungry, you didn't need to... Be able to eat the tacos. tacos. I was so hungry. I love tacos. Uh, oh no, do you have to? Oh god. Right, let's just go to the other side, I guess. By the power of the Skywim horse, I'm begging you, don't let me down. Ay-yay-yay-yay-yay! Uh, No, I got nothing. That's what I thought. Okay, hold on. Got an idea. Let's get some of the gel just in case we have to fix the car. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Ah, crap. Back my shit, thank you. There we go, much better. Okay. Now we can go. I swear, this game we there is part we might be deaf right now. Minus the ghost. <laughs> wow! She just told me, yeah, you're a ghost. That's fucked up. Seriously, what? Go. Skywing horse, I'm begging you, don't let me down. Come 
Come on. Come on. Yay. Look at that. Oh no. This is Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> um Serious Seriously This plant is a fucking maze. Oh. Yep, let's go this way. Ah We can do Oh no, it's Fomian Creeper. Those things again. Bye bye. Okay. Ah, let's get inside. That was fun. What's up? Yes. We're dead. I think that's all of them. I think that we are almost out of here. Yeah, let's get going. Oh. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. My name is Commander Shepard. I killed a Forian. You're the one responsible. We're I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you got here just in time. What happened here? I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? Because I killed it. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. You fucked up. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've you right. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? People lost their lives here. Oh, you're gonna you die. You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. Uh, let me think. Um, uh, now 
The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh -huh, that's not going to Open happen. Fire. Open fire. Well, guess what? You dead. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh my god. I just thought that, uh -huh, that's not going to happen, and <laughs> trying to dodge my grenade. He dead. Exogeny's second weight mercs prove no match for a trained alien marine. With the last of the signs crew dead, there's no reason to linger. Yep. I was trying to save them. Give me all of the money. Okay. Alright, we're done here. Let's get out of here. Check. Yeah, do we have uh, something like... Say seven in a ten in a dish. Turn to normality. <laughs> Hey, uh, did you know that Emmy Elliot in the chat is so cute? It is true. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Journal. Oh my god, we have so much. I think Cerberus, I'm gonna wait. After Novaria. Just for storyline stuff. I'm gonna wait for that. Um. Oh, we need to do that too. And then we need to beat with uh, Elena Blake. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we have a ton of things to do. Um. Okay. Let's get going. Uh, the logs in the fight on Pharaohs showed large deliveries being made to a system in a Voyager cluster. The strange thing is, there's nothing out that way that would warrant such a demand for supplies. Why just cluster Amazon system? Let's go. There we go. There's the Amazon system. Incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Oh, now what? Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Squad did I? Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Sorry, got some mess. Yeah, that's serious. 
I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Wait, so now we have an issue. Tremor. Nitrogen. Seven. Terran Signia. Okay. Oh, we have a ton here. Polonium. Uh, here we got nothing. And here we got the planet itself. Ah, oh, remember this quest. I remember this quest very well. I think this one is gonna be the last one from this vault, and then I'm gonna take a break. We will be back with more Mass Effect. I highly recommend check something first. Uh, I can check my sniper very quick. The signal is coming from a mine? This smells. I concur. This did not crash. Someone moved it here. Yep. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Right. Yep. Let's go. Suppose we have to go. Yeah, that's is the only way. Okay, I know, I know this quest. And uh, uh, no. oh, that. that was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <laughs> of course, Shepard. At last. 
Best. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? Who cares? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. Actually, fun fact, it's one of your psychological profiles is that you survived and you the one that will push them off um, from Elysium. Like, it is actually pretty cool. It's like, yeah, I remember you. You're the one who screwed us. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Hey, you fucked up. Failed. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb. Ugh. Okay. That wasn't like the good time. Not now, phone. I'm, I'm, I'm disabling a bomb right now. Oh, it's not over yet. Three seconds. You have to say about the bomb. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Okay, so now. Of a way is actually this way. We got nothing here. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we got out. Now we are going to snipe them one by one. We are. And ta da! Get them all.
Oh my god, I thought, I thought he died. <laughs> okay. I just got the scope. Almost died here. Uh, Elliot went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re established connection with the normality. Time to get out of here. I agree. Wow, we have a ton of money, Jesus. Okay, time to go. Return to normal D. Okay. Alright, um I'm I'm gonna stop for now because like we've been heading the an hour twenty minutes mark. So uh we're gonna do more side quests for sure, like we still have A lot. Yeah, as you can see, Walk VI is as well doing after Novaria because it has some part actually. Uh, from after Novaria, uh, we got Hostage, that's two. Actually, this one is the most boring one because it's actually free building to destroy, and that's a pain in the ass. Uh, hostage one building. And we still have this one, and then we still have to go to the Citadel, so... Uh, I'm hoping I can do the Citadel um, in the next video. If not, we're doing another one. So, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We can do this. 